Do you feel like you're always running out of money no matter how hard you work? This is a question many of us ask ourselves, but have you ever stopped to consider that it's not about how much money you make, but how you manage it? Today, we're diving into the 10 habits that might be keeping you poor without you even realizing it. From the sneaky budgeting pitfalls to the impulse buys that drain your wallet, we're exposing the financial missteps that may be costing you more than you think. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. By identifying and changing these habits, you can potentially transform your financial situation for the better. So buckle up, put on your learning caps, and join us on this journey to financial enlightenment. Stay with us as we delve into these habits and start changing your financial future today. Meet Sarah, a hard worker who often ends up with too much month at the end of her money. Sarah, like many of us, never really knows where her money goes. But here's the kicker, she's not alone. Many people overlook the importance of budgeting and it's costing them big time. Let's break it down. Budgeting is more than just tracking expenses. It's about understanding your financial habits, identifying areas of unnecessary spending and creating a plan that aligns with your financial goals. Without a budget, you're essentially navigating your financial journey blindfolded. It's like embarking on a road trip without a map or GPS. Sure, you might eventually reach your destination, but think of all the unnecessary detours and wasted fuel along the way. Not budgeting can lead to overspending. It's easy to swipe a card and forget about it, but every little purchase adds up. That daily gourmet coffee, the impulse buys at the grocery store, the premium subscriptions you hardly use, they all chip away at your wealth. But here's the good news. It's never too late to start budgeting. And with a plethora of apps and tools available today, it's easier than ever. You can track your spending, set spending limits, and even receive alerts when you're nearing your budget. With a simple habit of budgeting, Sarah can regain control of her finances. And you can too. It's time to stop wondering where your money goes and start directing it towards your financial goals. Scene script. Next, we have Tom who can't resist a sale. Picture this, Tom strolls through the mall, no particular item on his shopping list. Suddenly, he spots a big red sale sign and feels his heart rate pick up. Before he knows it, he's at the checkout counter with a basket full of items he doesn't need. Sound familiar? This, folks, is impulse buying. It's the practice of purchasing items on a whim without any planning or thought, and it can be a severe drain on your finances. So, why do we impulse buy? Well, it's a mix of emotional satisfaction and psychological triggers. That thrill of scoring a deal, that instant gratification, it all plays into our instinct to buy now and think later. It's almost like a sugar rush for your wallet. But here's the catch. Just as a sugar rush leaves you with a crash, impulse buying often leads to buyer's remorse. And that's not even mentioning the havoc it wreaks on your budget. So how can we combat this? Simple by implementing a waiting period before making a purchase. If you see something you want, don't buy it immediately. Instead, wait 24 to 48 hours. If you still want it after that time and it fits within your budget, then go for it. By resisting the urge to impulse buy, Tom can save a significant amount of money. And you can too. Imagine Jack's struggle with late fees due to forgotten bill payments. It's an all too common scenario and it's a habit that can keep you in a cycle of financial stress. When bills are paid late, not only do you face the original amount, but also the added burden of late fees. And these aren't just pennies we're talking about. Over time, these charges can accumulate and become a significant drain on your resources. But that's not all. Consistently paying bills late can negatively impact your credit score. A lower credit score might lead to higher interest rates on loans and credit cards, making it more expensive for you to borrow money in the future. It's a financial ripple effect that starts with something as seemingly harmless as a forgotten due date. So, what's the solution? It's simple. Keep track of your bills and their due dates. Set reminders on your phone, use a physical calendar, or even consider automatic payments if your budget allows. By doing this, you'll not only save yourself from late fees, but also protect your credit score from unnecessary damage it's time to break the cycle. Start getting organized and make sure you're paying your bills on time. It's a small change in habit, but it can make a big difference in your financial health. By keeping track of due dates, Jack can avoid these unnecessary costs. 
Lisa, a shopaholic, uses her credit card for everything and only pays the minimum each month. This seemingly innocuous habit has a hidden danger, high interest debt. Let's break it down. When you use a credit card and only pay the minimum, the remaining balance rolls over to the next month. This rolled over balance accumulates interest. And not just any interest, high interest, much higher than any savings account could offer. Imagine a snowball rolling down a hill, growing bigger and faster as it goes. That's your debt when it's subjected to high interest rates. It grows and grows until it becomes a colossal snowball that's tough to manage. It's not just credit cards though. Payday loans, store cards, and certain types of loans can also carry high interest rates. So what can Lisa do to escape this debt trap? First, she needs to understand her debt. It's crucial to know what the interest rates are and how much she owes. Next, she should aim to pay more than the minimum each month. Even a bit extra can make a big difference over time. If possible, she should focus on paying off the debt with the highest interest rate first, a strategy known as the avalanche method. Remember, it's not about completely avoiding debt. It's about understanding it, managing it, and making it work for you, not against you. By managing her debt wisely, Lisa can break free from the grip of high interest rates. Mike was caught off guard by an unexpected car repair expense. It's a situation that many of us can relate to. Life is full of surprises, and sometimes those surprises come with a hefty price tag. When unexpected costs arise, whether it be a car repair, a medical bill, or a sudden job loss, having an emergency fund can be a financial lifesaver. An emergency fund is a stash of money set aside to cover the financial surprises life throws your way. These unexpected events can be stressful and costly. Without an emergency fund, these situations can plunge you into debt or cause financial instability. Imagine if Mike had set aside a small percentage of his income each month in an emergency fund. When his car broke down, instead of stressing about where to find the money to cover the repairs, he could simply dip into his emergency fund. It would have been an inconvenience, sure, but not a disaster. Creating an emergency fund may seem daunting, especially if you're already struggling to make ends meet. But even a small amount saved regularly can add up over time. It's not about the amount you start with, but the habit of consistently setting money aside. An emergency fund isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. It provides a financial buffer that can keep an inconvenient situation from turning into a financial crisis. With an emergency fund, Mike can handle life surprises without going broke. Emma is scared of investing and keeps all her money in a savings account with low interest. She's not alone in this fear. Many people shy away from investing seeing it as a risky game of chance. However, keeping your money in a savings account with a low interest rate is like hiding your money under the mattress. It's safe, but it's not growing. Let's take a moment to talk about the power of compounding interest. Imagine a snowball rolling down a hill. As it rolls, it picks up more snow, growing bigger and faster. That's how compounding interest works. Your money generates earnings, which are then reinvested to generate their own earnings. Over time, this cycle can turn even small initial investments into substantial sums. This is why investing is so crucial for long-term wealth. It allows your money to work for you. While there is always some level of risk involved, there are ways to manage it. Diversification or spreading your investments across a variety of assets can help reduce the potential for loss. And investing in low-cost index funds can be a relatively safe and effective strategy for beginners. Overcoming the fear of investing can open a world of financial opportunities. By doing her research and starting small, Emma can take control of her financial future. By overcoming her fear and investing, Emma can make her money work for her. Chris always buys the latest tech to keep up with friends, even though he can't afford it. You might be familiar with the phrase, keeping up with the Joneses. It refers to the pressure we sometimes feel to match our peers' lifestyle, possessions, or experiences. But let's face it, this habit can be a one-way ticket to financial distress. Chris, for instance, is constantly upgrading his tech gadgets. Every time his friends get the new iPhone or the latest gaming console, Chris feels the need to get one too, even if he hasn't paid off his previous purchases yet. He's in a constant cycle of spending with his credit card balance creeping up each month. The reality is, attempting to keep up with others can lead us into a trap of living beyond our means. 
It's crucial to remember that everyone's financial situation is different. What's affordable for one person might be a financial stretch for another. Instead of comparing ourselves with others, it's far more beneficial to focus on our own financial goals. For Chris, this might mean setting a budget for his tech purchases, paying off his credit card debt, or saving for a down payment on a house. By focusing on his own financial goals, Chris can live within his means and still be happy. The truth is, real wealth isn't about having the latest gadgets or the flashiest car. It's about financial stability, freedom, and peace of mind, and that's something we can all strive for. Sophia ignores her health until she is forced to spend a lot on medical bills. Sounds familiar? Neglecting health and wellness is a habit that can literally cost us a fortune. When we overlook our body's needs, we're not just jeopardizing our physical and mental well-being, we're also setting ourselves up for potentially massive healthcare expenses. Just imagine the medical bills piling up from frequent doctor visits, medications, and hospital stays. Not a pretty sight, right? But the good news is that it's a situation we can avoid. How? By making health and wellness a priority. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, enough sleep, these are all proven ways to maintain good health. And good health means fewer visits to the doctor, fewer medications, and fewer medical bills. It's a win-win situation. But what about those unforeseen health emergencies? That's where adequate health insurance comes into play. A good health insurance plan can protect us from the financial impact of unexpected health issues. It's a safety net that can save us from drowning in medical debt. Remember, health insurance is not an expense. It's an investment, an investment in our health, our peace of mind, and our financial stability. Sophia's story is a reminder that neglecting our health can have serious financial repercussions but it's never too late to change. By investing in her health, Sophia can avoid hefty medical bills in the future, and so can we. Alex doesn't understand his finances and often makes uninformed decisions. This is a common reality for many, but it doesn't have to be. Understanding your finances is not a luxury, it's a necessity. It's like reading road signs on a journey. Unless you know what they mean, you're likely to take a wrong turn. The first step is financial literacy. It's understanding how money works. It's about knowing how to make, manage, invest, and donate money to help your life and the lives of others. It's about being able to differentiate between assets and liabilities, between good debt and bad debt. It's about understanding that saving is not just about putting money in a bank, but also about investing it wisely to grow your wealth. There are many resources available to help you learn more about managing money. Start with books, podcasts, and blogs on personal finance. Look for free online courses from reputable institutions. Seek advice from financial advisors. Join money management groups on social media. By dedicating time to educate yourself, you're investing in your financial future. You're empowering yourself to make informed decisions, whether it's about buying a house, investing in stocks, or planning for retirement. The more you learn, the better your decisions will be and the more control you'll have over your financial destiny. By learning about money, Alex can make informed financial decisions. And so can you. It's time to take charge of your financial journey. Let's start learning today. Jasmine lives paycheck to paycheck without planning for the future. This might sound familiar to some of you. It's a trap that many people fall into, and it's a habit that can keep you poor. You see, without financial goals, you're like a ship without a compass, wandering aimlessly in the sea of life. It's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day expenses and forget about the bigger picture. Setting financial goals is crucial in taking control of your money. It gives you a roadmap to navigate your financial journey. These goals could be short-term, like saving for a vacation or paying off a credit card debt. They could also be long-term, like buying a house or investing for retirement. When you have clear, well-defined financial goals, you're more likely to make better financial decisions. You'll think twice before making impulse purchases or taking on high interest debt. You'll be motivated to budget, save, and invest your money wisely. But setting goals isn't enough. You need to work towards them consistently. This might require making sacrifices or changing your lifestyle. It might mean cutting back on unnecessary expenses or finding ways to increase your income. It's not always easy, but it's worth it. By setting financial goals, Jasmine can work towards a more secure financial future, and so can you. Remember, it's never too late to start setting financial goals. 
So why not start today? We've discussed 10 habits that might be keeping you poor. From not budgeting to impulse buying, paying bills late to relying on high interest debt, neglecting to save for emergencies and avoiding investing. We've also considered the pitfalls of social comparison, neglecting health and wellness, not learning about money and lacking financial goals. Each of these habits can silently drain your resources, leaving you wondering where your money has gone. But remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Understanding these habits and their impact on your financial health is key to breaking free from the cycle of constant money worries. Start by taking small steps towards changing these habits, and over time, you'll see a significant transformation in your financial situation. And remember, you're not alone in this journey. Start changing your habits today for a better financial tomorrow. Subscribe for more life-changing tips and tricks.